There has been exchange of fire at the line of control, the de facto border between the Pakistan and India administered Kashmir. The Indian side is saying that uh, as a result of the firing from the Pakistani side, a woman and two children have died, whereas uh, local officials in the Pakistan administered Kashmir are saying that uh, at least seven people have died and more than 20 people have been injured in the Pakistan administered Kashmir in different sectors of Kashmir and they have actually shared with us some of the pictures who they are saying uh, belong to those victims. Now, um, also uh, today, Pakistan is expecting to receive the body of one of the prisoners. Uh, he was jailed in India and after the 14th of February attack in Pulwama, uh, Indian police had said that he had been beaten to death by fellow inmates. Uh, his body is supposed to be returned to Pakistan today. Hassan, if you don't mind, two questions in one. What are the targets, do we know, that the uh, Indian and Pakistani military are shooting at across the line of control? And has Narendra Modi replied yet to Imran Khan's offer of dialogue? Well, the Pakistani side is saying that India has been indiscriminately firing. Uh, that sort of charge is often reciprocated on the other side as well. On the Pakistani side, uh, the pictures we have received uh, apparently show uh, damage to civilian properties and, uh, and also cattle. Uh, now, of course, there is this element of show of power. And also, uh, as you know, Adnan, during the last 72 or so years, uh, these skirmishes have been pretty frequent. Uh, the exchange of fire across the line of control has been pretty frequent. But the timing here is quite important uh, because Pakistani officials are saying that after their what they're calling peace gesture, they were expecting India to reciprocate and take the steps that would uh, move towards uh, peace. But at the moment, the assessment in Islamabad is that the escalation at the line of control may not grow well for the region. And nothing from Modi in response to Imran Khan's offer? Well, he has been delivering sort of campaign speeches, but uh, nothing directly connected to Pakistan's initiative. And um, this is something that officials in Islamabad say they are quite clearly feeling. The Pakistani military chief has been talking to a number of people. He's talked to the military and defense chiefs of US, UK and Australia. He's also talked to the ambassadors of the US, UK and China. And the Pakistani military chief says that he has clearly conveyed to all of them that uh, while Pakistan will continue with its peace initiatives, any what he called mis misadventures from the Indian side will be responded to and Pakistan will not hesitate in using military force where needed.